Met taking on Elk Grove. Jonathan Hall leads it off. Takes a strike, strike one. Just underway. Glad to have you with us all the way down the network line. There's a strike. We might get some video glitches through the ball game. Had to uh, switch cameras uh, and, and you know, switch the units that we use for the playback. And I don't know how well the two of them will work together. Ground ball, throw over to first in time. One away. Here's Charlie Tilson. Tilson falls one off. With a strike, strike one. And a ball. One and one. Uh, if we have a glitch in our broadcast today, I hope you'll bear with us. There's a strike on the inside corner. Nobody out. Or one out, rather. Nobody on. Little foul tip, held on, strike three. And there's two down. Low and outside a ball. Mark Meneker. Ground ball through for the base hit. On the left side of the infield. And here's Peter McNitt. Two out, one aboard. Foul ball back, out of play. Go to first, runner back. Again, the throw over there, and again, the runner back. And foul ball the other way. George Klusek, the pitcher today for Elk Grove. Fall back. Make Nitt hanging in tough. Runner on at first. Two out. And McNitt with a ground ball right to the first baseman. Steps on the bag and the inning over. No runs. A hit and a man left. Go to the bottom half of the frame. Lending it off is... Oops, that is not close. It. But leading off is uh, Joe Zubris. I took the position numbers that I had here. Ball ball. On the mound, Bob Cook. And a foul ball. Ground ball, right? Back to Cook. Over. Whoops, and threw it away. And Sobras ends up at second. Here's a strike. Kishkowski, the batter. Oh, no, 
Matt Kishkowski. Ground ball. A line shot, rather. Caught by uh, Cook and then over to second for the DP. Score that as a 1-6 DP. So two out. Cristiangelo. Ground ball. And over to first in a 1-2-3 inning. No runs, no hits, an error. Nobody left at the end of one. No score. We'll be back. No score as we go to the top of the second inning. Top of the second. Here's Rusky to lead it off. Outside of all. So we got a bit straight. Blackjack on the count. I fly ball. On the giddy up right fielder over. And takes it for the out. One away. Here's Justin Wells. Strike, strike one. And low, one and one. To Justin Wells batting here in the Top of the second, no score in the ball game today. Pitch high ball, two and one. Swing, ground ball, slow little roller, first baseman has it. Up with it, steps on the bag. Three on the put out. Here's Duxbury. And straight. That's low and inside a ball. And high ball. Yeah, strike. So I'm going to miss. Strike three. And a one, two, three inning went very quickly. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. And we go to the bottom half of the second. Kevin Osmanski leads it off. That's a ball, ball one. High bounder, bounding in, and nope, can't get to it. Strike, strike one. Score that as a hit. Here's George Kolosek. And Kolosek with a soft little liner. Caught. Throw to first. Nope. There's a strike. Strike one.
Well, we'll try again. This is Kolosek. Ball gets away, and over to second goes Osmanski. Confused the number 18 with the number 16. I've been identifying him all over the place here, huh? Oh, well, we're at second. That's a ball. Lonehart, the batter. And outside a ball. So two out. Runner at second. Strike. And the count's gone full. At three and two to Lonhart. Strike three. In the inning. No runs, a hit, and a man left. We played through two, no score. We'll be back. Still no score as we move along to the third inning. Snappy ball game today. Line shot, base hit by Charlie Hudson leading off. Second hit of the ball game for Wilmette. Here's Steven Spellman. Throw to first runner back. There's a strike. Wind blowing in. There's a strike. Oh and two. Said Spellman went around. Throw to first. Runner back. There's a strike. Throw on down to second. Not in time. Stolen base. And Spellman has struck out. Jonathan Hall, the batter. Hot shot foul. One out. Swing and a miss, strike. Well outside, a ball gets away. And Hudson will get credit for a stolen base. He was off before the, the pitch, so... That's a ball low and outside. So runner at third with one out. That's a ball and the count goes full. And ball four. And the Waves may have a little something started here. Two on. With one out. Here's Charlie Tilson. Charlie fouls one off. Tilson struck out his first time up. Betting here in the third.
throw over to first. And Hall not going very far. Line shot through the hole in left. Between short and third, and a run home on the single by Tilson. So here's Mark Menneker. And Wilmet leads 1 0. He takes a strike, strike one. Low win outside a ball. And outside a ball. Blowing away a ball. Yeah. Whoops, that's a ball. That's a ball. And that moves both runners over. He uh, threw to the second baseman uh, to the shortstop. That was not a play for the runners. There's a ground ball. Little swinging bunt, as it turns out. And that's a base hit. That drives home another run. Here's Peter McMitt. Low foul ball. There's a strike. So Peter McNett bats and Womack with a two run lead now. So we're going to bat strike three. And the inning over. We'll be back. No, no. We're still here, aren't we? There's a little butt in the air. Foul. Strike. I am all over the place this morning. There's a strike. That's low. A ball, one and one. Bob Cook on the mound. And straight. And outside, oh, count goes full. Squibber foul. So a little ground ball. 
Up throwing. In time. One out. Okay. Hey. And a hot truck fall. And a base hit. Throw to first, runner back. Fall off. Kuszkowski the batter. Metro Chicago Sports Network. Glad to have you on the network, wherever you may be. Swing and a ground ball foul. We're in Elk Grove, home of the Grenadiers. This may be the last year that Elk Grove uh, it plays here. Foul ball. Going to rents charged for fields. That's a ball. And stolen base. Foul ball. High fly ball. And in comes... Spellman to take it for the out. In the inning, no runs. One hit, one left. And we played through three. It's 2 nothing, Wilmette. 2 nothing in favor of Wilmette as we move along here to the top of the fourth inning. Matt Ruski leads it off. Takes a pitch outside for a ball. Ball one. Well, close to the playoffs now. And nine inning ball games. Pitch low and outside of all. Two and out. Low and outside of all. Three and out. To Rusky. Rusky, Wells, and Duxbury do up here in the fourth inning. Yeah, strike. And fall out of play. And the count goes full. At three and two. Danny. And low and outside the ball. Here's Justin Wells. And Wells with a fly ball down the line, giving chase, not going to get to it. Out of play. Kind of inside out at it. Trying to take it to the opposite field. Fouled off. 0 oh 2 the count on Wells. Waves catcher. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And there's one away. Here's Duxbury. Tim struck out his first time up. That's the fifth strikeout of the ball game for Red Sox pitcher. He has struck out one, at least one in each inning. We're in the fourth. Foul ball. Rusky at first. 
And the pitch. There's the strike. Tim Buck Duxbury. There's a strike. Strike three. Two down. Here's Charlie Hudson. Singled, stole two bases, and scored the first run of the ball game for Wilmot. Pitch inside the ball. It's got a funny uh, talking to other communities um, outside of the Chicago area. They are very surprised the fact that most high schools don't have lights for baseball. It's a ball. And I, I've always tried to explain that. First of all, Many of the high schools are inside a suburban community. Ball four, Hudson's drawn the walk. And the houses, next door neighbors, not wanting the lights. And second of all, in the springtime, when the high schools are playing their games, and generally speaking, it's a little chilly in the evening. Chilly during the day, worse in the evening. Pop up foul caught for out number three. In the inning, no runs, no hits. Two walks and two left. Here's D'Angelo leading it off. Ground ball foul. Number three in the batting order. And a high pop-up foul. Going to give chase and not going to get to it. That's a ball. Bounces in. Another one fouled off out of play. Salt Creek right behind this ballpark. And I imagine they lose a lot of baseballs in there. Little fall ball. And another one fall off. Swing and a ground ball. High bounder. That's fall. Low ball. Count's gone full. Osmanski on deck. Strike three. Got him. One away. Here. Here's Osmanski. And a ground ball. Slow roller. Picked up. Nope. Not going to get to it. Little infield single. So runner at first. Here's a strike. Cook delivers. High fly ball. That's a Gapper out there, yep, uh, just beyond the reach of Tilson. And coming around from first, Osmanski scores on the double. That's the strike, strike one. And it is two to one. As the Elk Grove Red Sox on the board. Swing a ground ball, slow roller. Up throwing in time for three on the put out. On the play, runner moves on over to third. Here's Lonhart. 
And he hits the first pitch ground ball. Oh, they say he was up. Oh, he was clearly off the base, but got away with it. 6 3 on the put out, and the inning over. 2 to 1. We'll be back with more. It's 2 1 Wilmette. And the Waves dodged a bullet there in the bottom half of the frame on a play where the runner was, appeared to be pretty clearly safe. I don't think he ever touched the bag. Uh, Peter McNitt at first base, but um, saw it our way and called the Elk Grove runner out. Two to one. Top of the fifth inning. Top of the batting order to up. Jonathan Hall leads it off with a base hit single. Here's Tilson. Runner at first. Tilson delivers. Base hit. So two on. Nobody out. Here's Mark Meneker. Pitch is outside of ball. So two on. Hall at second. Tilson at first. Meneker the batter. Go out to second. Hall back. Outfield playing straight away, but relatively shallow. Hot shot foul. Outside a ball. Top of the fifth inning. Well, Matt now with five hits on the day. There's a line shot. Make it six. Base hit, and that's going to go past the outfielders out there. Meneker into second. And here comes a throw, not in time, and both runners home to score. Tilson and Hall, and a two run double for Meneker. And here's Peter McNett. Takes a pitch outside the ball. And Wilmette now leading four to one. Well, one thing, you know, about a play that, you know, was close and people say, well, you know, he was safe or whatever. And generally fans and those in the know will say, you know, the what ifs. Well, what if he had been called safe or called out? Well, generally called safe. Uh, you know, take... you. You take a scoring opportunity away, yeah, but it's only an opportunity. And the next guy could strike out, so, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean anything. Ball four. And, you know, it's unfair. To blame the umpire for your own faults, misgivings, whatever. Um, you know, uh, yes, it's an opportunity that was taken away, but it is, a, is only an quote-unquote opportunity. Now the pitch. Line shot. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to load the bases up. So the surf's up, and Justin Wells the batter. Outside of ball. Well, the Wilmet waves with a chance to bust this one open. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Hot shot foul out of play. 
off to the right. Interesting stance there by the catcher. Fall off. The look in. The pitch outside of all. Ground ball. Throw home. No. Pull him off the bag. Now score that as a fielder's choice. And the run home. That's low ball. Big rip. Okay, let's go. And three runs home. And now it's a high wave warning. As bases remain loaded. Ducks bury the batter. And hit the ground ball back up the middle. Base hit. That will score one. And the bases remain loaded for Hudson. Four runs in. Nobody out. That's a ball. And a ball. They lock and load. High bounder. Again, the play home. Oh, my. Hit the bat in front. Kind of a bad throw, and that's going to score two. And I don't know. I guess you got to call that an error on the throw. Two more runs in. Duxbury at third, Hudson at second. Steven Smelvin, ninth man to bat in the inning. Still nobody out. Pitch low ball. Waves have scored six here. Nobody out. And it busted this game open. Eight to two. Outside of all. Well outside, ball. Yeah, strike. And strike three, and one away. Here's Jonathan Hall. Runners at second and third. There's a strike. Fifth inning. We're going to bet strike. One and two the count. New pitcher on the mound. Fall off. The 
Another one fouled off. Hot shot foul outside a third. And Hall with a slow little ground ball. They'll take the play at first. Out at the tag, but two out. Inside a ball. Charlie Tilson, the batter. Two for three at the plate. Here's a strike. Batting for the second time in the inning. Swing and a bit straight. 11th man to bat. Low and away a ball. There's a ball down the line. That's a base hit. That'll score a couple of more. On the double by Charlie Tilson. And Tilson, very hot bat today. Two singles and a double. Here's Meneker. Eight runs in in the inning, and it is 10 1 the score. Swing and a miss, strike. Medicare doubled, drove home two earlier in the inning. There's a strike. Two out. High pop up. Shortstop. Colin Fort takes it for the out to end the inning. But the Waves put an eight spot on the board. Eight runs on one, two, three, four, five, six hits. There's a base hit. Well, double. That's uh, ball, ball one. Miller, and then the high pop up. On a play. And a straight. Outside of all. High pop up, back pedaling is Hall. Takes it for the out. Yeah, strike. Zubras. The batter. The luck back, the pitch. There's a strike. Yeah. And a base hit. Hey, 
Held the runner at third. Oh, runners at the corners. Kuszkowski with a fly ball out towards center. Taken for the out. Work as a sacrifice fly, driving home the run. And it is now 10 2. Two out. D'Angelo, the batter. He sends a fly ball out there, kind of sailed a little bit on Tilson, but he was able to hold on for the out the end of the inning. And at the end of five, it's 10 2 in favor of. Well, Matt, we'll be back. Well, 10 2 the score. Move along to the top of the sixth inning. McNitt, Ruskey, and Wells scheduled to bat for the Waves. That's a ball, ball one. Peter McNitt getting a little late in the evening. There's a strike to Peter. So I got a bit strike. McNitt walked his last time up. Everybody has scored at least one run, except Steven Spellman. Foul ball. Yeah. On the pop-up foul, here's Rusky. And Rusky with a fly ball, center fielder. He has a beat on it, waits for it to come down and takes it for the out. Two away, here's Justin Wells. That's a ball, ball one. High fly ball, back it goes, back and, oh, hit the top of the fence. Bounce back in though. And that's a double. Hit the very top of the fence. Close, but no cigar. Although he did get a stub there, I guess, with the double. <laughs> Maybe a half cigar. A little foul tip. Two out. Here's Duxbury. He singled his last time up. Right back up the middle. Ball gets away. And trotting over to third as Wells. High pop up. And right fielder calls everybody off, takes it for the out. A quiet top of the six. No runs. One hit, no errors, one left. Bottom half of the sixth inning. Here's Osmanski to lead it off. Ball ball back. There's a strike. Outside of ball. County was up at Deuces. To Osmanski. High fly ball. Fisted him a little bit. Waiting and taking it for the out. Is Hudson. One away. So we got to make the strike. Round ball. Yeah. Through for the base hit, really. 
knocked down by Hall, but that's a hit. So runner at first, one out for Elk Grove. There's a strike, strike one. Foul ball. That's high a ball. High pop up. Shallow in the run. Oh, nice catch by Duxbury over the shoulder. And ground ball, so the roller flipped the second for the fielder's choice and the inning over. We go to the bottom half of the sixth. Well, might lead 10 to the score as we move to the seventh inning. I said the bottom of the sixth at the end of the end of the last inning, and I don't know why. Here's Mazzoni batting for Hudson. Seventh inning. Well, Matt leading this one 10 to 2. Big out burst in the fifth. That's a ball. Out of pitch. Outside a ball. Yeah. Starting next week in real time, we go to the playoffs. Ball four, and Mazzoni draws the walk. Here's Spellman. So to first, Mazzoni back. And yeah, strike. And yeah, strike. Low foul tip back. And off uh, with the stolen base is Mazzoni. And makes it safely. Strike three. And there's one away. Here's Jonathan Hall. Hall officially one for three, but been on base twice. Scored two runs. Was walked back in the third and scored. And singled. Yeah, lead off that eight run outburst. Ground ball over to first in time. And Mazzoni will stay put. Two out. Here's Tilson. High bounder. Right to first. Step on the bag. And we go to the bottom half of the seventh inning. Line shot. That's a base hit. Lead off single. Come on, Kevin. Oh, 
So, runner aboard. Cook's gone the distance. Ball. Ground ball. Foul. And a ball. So I'll run it first. So I got a miss. Strike three. And there's one away. Here's Zubris. No, nope, not Zubris. Fontanez batting for Zubris. Here's a strike. High fly ball. And taken by Tilson for the out. Two away. Two down. And it's a little ground ball. Over... Nice move by Hall over to first, and the inning over, and the ball game. We'll be back in just a moment to wrap this one up. Final word on this ball game. For Wilmette, 10 runs on 10 hits. One error, they were struck out eight times, walked five. Wilmette left seven on base with three stolen bases. For the Elk Grove Red Sox, two runs on eight hits, one error. They were struck out three times. They were not walked any time by Bob Cook, who went the distance. Six left on base and one stolen base. This is Mark Braun. I hope you enjoyed this broadcast. Stick around for more sports action on the network. And for all of us, we say as always, so long, everybody.